No, 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 you keep your coat on, because if we really haul rubber right now, we can get downtown, we can go to the, uh, the grocery store, the hardware store, and look, I've saved up enough coupons to buy a small Learjet. Now, come on. I just got home from work. I don't want to run out the door again. Come on, there's got to be something in this house we can eat. Oh, we just have that cheese that the president sent us. <laughs> Murph, Murph, come on, son, move it, let's go. I'm moving. My clothes are standing still. Hey, sweetheart, I know you're in there somewhere. Oh, neat. Hey, listen, Mommy, can you get some place where there's air conditioning? Just give me a minute to catch my breath, Mark. I just walked in the door. Oh, huh, no, poor little pooped-out pooter. Don't worry. Now, come on, you just sit down here and we'll make you feel so much oh, better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now we feel better, don't we? Mmm, good. Now, let's haul to it. Come on, let's go. Every time I come home, I've got to turn around and run out the door again. There's got to be some way you can handle these errands during the day. Oh, Min, 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 it's not that easy, well, honey. It is. Come on, you guys. Are you going to go or aren't you? No. Yes. Are you or aren't you? Because I want to tell you something, both. I'm beginning to sweat as much as Orson Welles chasing a frisbee. <laughs> God about you under there. Here, let me help you. Mm. Well, Daddy sure kept oh, you warm, I, didn't he? I don't believe it. I feel, Mommy, like a some kind of huge artichoke, and it's just you're deleafing me <laughs> or debriefing me. <laughs> Whatever. Or, you know, it would be a lot easier for all of us if you would learn how to drive. Min, you want me to drive some primitive earth vehicle financed by the government? Come on, now. <laughs> Min, Min, it'd be like asking the great Pele to play soccer with a BB. Or look at it this way. What if something happened to mirth during the day, like a real emergency? What would you do? Well, I do what I always do. Fall apart. Wouldn't it be a lot simpler if you learned how to drive a car? I mean, really, Mark, it's a snap. In fact, in some parts of the country, you can get your license at 14. Well, probably the same parts of the country where they marry at 8. <laughs> Listen, you two, I'm going to tell you something. Gently, I've had it right up to, say, here. Okay? I'm going into the bedroom. If I'm not called for dinner within an hour, remember this. I can get awfully cranky. <laughs> <laughs> Think about it. your way. But I'll tell you, I think it's a shame. If you had your license, just think, you could drive those six long miles to the arcade and play Pac-Man. <laughs> but if you want to stand on the curb sniffing at life's exhaust, that's your prerogative. <laughs> I'm uh, Sterling Moss. And I I'll be Jackie Stewart. Hey, great, great, great. Tell me, great, 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 Mommy's going to ask you to do a big favor, and that's help me teach Daddy how to drive, okay? And that means, shh, be quiet. Oh, come you on. You pay attention. Okay, now. My understanding was that this was going to be a lot of family fun. <laughs> well, no, Mirth, we're not on a family trip. We're, we're just going to sit in the car. Well, then we're very much overly packed. <laughs> okay, Mirth. <laughs> you gave it to me. Okay. You've seen me drive before, all right? Mommy. Hmm? Are we there yet? Sweetheart, I told you we're not going anywhere. We're sitting in the garage. But why don't you pretend we're going on a family trip, okay? Okay. But that's what I mean. Are we there yet? <laughs> All right, now, this is the ignition. To start the engine, you put your key in and turn it. A key? Well, that means I'll need a keychain. Oh, man, that's wonderful, because maybe I can get one with a little cowboy boot on the end. Or, or one with a little tiny piece of Tupperware, or maybe one with a little bagel that says, Nosh, Nosh, who's there? Forget the keychain. 
keychain. It's not important. Okay? Are you kidding? Men's style is everything to me. Okay, back on the track. Now, this is a standard transmission. Mm. That means you have to change the gears by using the gear shift. Oh, so that's what that's for. Yeah, what you think it was for, churning butter? Doesn't really matter what I thought. <laughs> okay, now, what you do to do that, you take your foot off the gas and depress the clutch. Oh, depress the clutch. Clutch? Have you ever seen the movie Brian's Song? <laughs> How about that last Ali fight, huh? I'm getting car sick. I am, I am, I am. You know what, sweetheart? So am I. You know, I have come to the realization that I don't have the ability to teach you how to drive. In fact, I know for sure I don't have the patience. I think you should go to a driving school. Does that mean the lesson's over, Min? Yes. You know what that means, son, don't you? Yes, I do. Back to the Grand Prix, eh? Grand Prix! <laughs> Boy, I wish we could share something shallow right now, but my driving instructor's on the way over any minute. Oh, yeah? Well, time's up. <laughs> oh, huzzah, huzzah, boom, bam! Well, for sure, totally gnarly. Wait a minute, I, can't, I gotta show you something. I've already picked out my bumper sticker. Look at this. <laughs> Aliens make better lovers. <laughs> Horn if you're a honky. <laughs> it's real trendy, Mark, real cute. <laughs> but if you're gonna be king of the road, you're gonna have to get serious about this. A lot of things you're gonna have to learn. For example, you know where to stash your binaca? <laughs> you know how to drive with your wrist? <laughs> More important, you know how to look cool when a lit cigarette falls between your legs? <laughs> Teach me, O oh guru of the girl shift, my motor mentor. Numero uno. No matter how treacherous the road conditions, always, always stop for female hitchhikers. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm married. Married? Ugh, the ultimate social disease. <laughs> sorry, I uh, didn't know. That's all right, you still have a year to pick out a wedding gift. <laughs> Questione. If uh, you're not out cruising for skirts, why do you want to learn how to drive? <laughs> if cars didn't turn on women, you wouldn't catch me in one of those death traps for all the musk oil in Cleveland. <laughs> De death trap? Uh, as in... <laughs> death trap? Oh, oh, man, no. Come on, come on. If it's that bad, why are you a driving instructor? Teenage girls with learner's permits. <laughs> I got the boss jacket for free. <laughs> Come on now, you, you, you mean you, you gotta be kidding there. Yeah, it's not really that bad. Is that, is that dangerous? Dangerous? Marco, it's Slaughter Alley out there. Don't you ever watch Chips? <laughs> How'd you like to get roffed by three tons of cold, hard steel, huh? Oh, you're right. I'll just have to drive like a senior citizen looking for an address. Go by me, go by me. <laughs> well, that's real good, except then you'll be a real easy target. Those people are out looking for blood. Uh -huh. But hey, take the Zen view. You can only have one fatal accident. <laughs> no! 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 Oh, wake up! You're just having a nightmare. And you're off key. <laughs> oh, man. 
mean, it was a real nightmare. I mean, it was worse than that dream I had where I was trapped in the elevator with the three seminary students and the animal therapist who kept saying, let the hamster have his space. <laughs> You're just having a bad dream. Everybody does. Just try to shake it off and, and think of something pleasant. Go back to sleep. You want to be fresh for your test tomorrow. Man, 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 I'm not taking that test tomorrow. No, no, no. This dream was a sign. It was a warning from beyond. Man, I mean, I don't want to end up as a subject of some pop maudlin hit. We knew him well, but he's a windshield dust now. <laughs> Suddenly trying to tell me you're not going to take your driving test tomorrow? No, 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 man. I'm just trying to tell you that I'm never going to get in a car again. Hi, <laughs> honey. You sleep well. Mia? Yes? What's this copy of Playgirl doing under here? <laughs> Describe your dream to me, and maybe I can help you analyze it, and then you'll see there's nothing to be worried about. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right, I'll, I'll try. Let me see now. Just take a moment to get into this. No, 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 Okay. I remember, Norman. I was on this road, and it's very, 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 very thick fog. I try to run, but I can't. I try to scream, but I can't. I try to rumble. I win second prize. <laughs> what does this have to do with driving? What are you, a dream critic? Come on, honey. <laughs> and then, then it happened. What? I felt this icy cold hand touch me here. And it sent a chill down my spine. <laughs> <laughs> and it was him. <laughs> it was Satan. <gasps> but that'll be out of us. Oh, men. I mean, it had to be him. I mean, how many men do you know that have little hooves? <laughs> oh, and his eyes, man. I remember his eyes. They were like a combination of Ming the Merciless and Nancy Reagan. <laughs> and then, then, he looked at me, and a long, bony finger pointed and said, You're next. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then the next thing I remember, there I was, seat belted into a hearse, and there's no one driving, and the hearse is going down a long hill towards a tunnel, and I'm careening, going, no, no, and the next thing you know, I'm in a beauty parlor having electrolysis. <laughs> Calm down. Hmm? I mean, I think that under the circumstances, what you're, what you're experiencing is perfectly normal. You mean everybody has dreams like that? Well, no. <laughs> yeah, sort of. But everybody is afraid of taking their driver's test. I know I sure was. I was so scared. But I took it and I passed and I was so excited. Oh. As a matter of fact, I remember the day I passed my test, my dad gave me the car. And I went and picked up my girlfriends, Birchie and Malat and Susie. <laughs> and we went to the record store and bought the new Herman's Hermits album. <laughs> remember that? Anyway, so then we went to the A&W to celebrate, and I had an a I had a root beer. No, no, wait, no, no. Millette had the root beer. I had the cherry coke. Okay, and we were trying to impress these guys in the other car. See, I was holding my, my cherry coke like this, and I poured it all down the front of me. We tried to get napkins from the guy, but he didn't have any. Uh, Mimi, yeah, I'll make you a deal. I'll, I'll take my driving test if you don't finish that story. <laughs> Are you mad at me? Oh, well, kind of, Mark. I mean, you cut me off. Mm -hmm. You cut me off just like you did that time we went to the grocery store and I was trying to make spaghetti. Remember that? And we were buying all the. No, no, I was making meatloaf. Anyway, I was buying the tomato sauce and the, and the onions and. <laughs> Other people like my story. <laughs> I did it. I did it, 
So glad you're here. Nothing stands between me and my personalized license plate. How do you like this one? R R R. Get it? R. Four twelve. Four at least. You're next. section of the test. <laughs> now I know how Ed Sullivan felt. Kiss me good night, Daddy. <laughs> Listen, Daddy, I was just thinking, maybe I could fix you a nice big hot cup of cocoa with a marshmallow in it and maybe a goldfish sandwich. <laughs> I know, no mustard. Isn't that sweet of a mint? 
Unlike you, who tried to send me to my doom. He's turning on us. Mercy, sweetie, why don't you go up to your room so Dad and I can have a talk? Okay, okay. I tell you what, I think you should maybe rub him on the tummy like this. That's what I always with Teddy. Hmm? Only thing with Teddy, when I rub him and keep rubbing him, he never closes his eyes. <laughs> Come on, Mark, don't be so depressed. So you'll take the test another time. Yeah, well, if I don't take it again, Murph will think I'm a quitter. Yeah, he might. He'll think I'm a coward. Maybe. He'll lose all respect for me. Possibly. I can live with that. <laughs> Mark, so you failed. Your driving test is not the end of the world. Oh, easy for you to say, Min. I mean, I've never failed before. I mean, now I'm an inferior, superior being. <laughs> Oh, Min, Min, I mean, even Richard Dawson wouldn't kiss me now. Sit down. Oh. I might not have been able to help you learn how to drive, but there is one thing I do know about, and that's failure. See, there was this time... Min, are you going to tell that spelling bee story again? <laughs> I was. <laughs> All right, the, the simple truth is, Mark, I mean, everybody fails sometimes. Well, even Buddy Epson? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure, probably. I, I mean, nobody's perfect. I mean, sometimes you succeed and sometimes you don't. That's what makes you human. Well, I'm not a human, man. <laughs> All right. What I'm trying to say is, just because you fail doesn't make you a failure. Yeah, but it still hurts. I know it does, sweetheart. And the only way to, to prevent that hurt is to go back in there and try again. You know, put everything behind you and, and think positive. I know you can pass that test, so go in there and try it. You can do it. I know you can. Yeah. Yeah, I can. Yeah, you know what? I, I think I can. No, I, I really can. I, yeah, I can. I'm gonna do it. I really am, but just in case, I'm gonna dress up as an old lady so it'll give me a break. Oh, that's the work I know. Do me a favor, if we go someplace formal tonight, will you paint a tie on here? 